Hello, my name is Rob Hodgman and I'm the Senior Aviation Planner at WashDOT. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview of the new online aviation economic calculator. First, a little bit of background. The current aviation economic impact study was completed in July of 2020. The previous study was completed in 2012, so there's about an eight year span there, and we can anticipate somewhere between five and seven years before the next study is released. In this 2020 study, we developed a couple of innovative products, one of them being this new and improved online economic calculator, and the other, a new aviation economic GIS mapping tool, and a demonstration of that will be available in a separate video. The data in the calculator was compiled from the economic study from the surveys of airport sponsors, airport tenants, and the GA community. The data in the calculator is fixed, meaning that the baseline information that you'll see shortly will not change until the, a future aviation impact study is completed. However, the, the in-plan software that was used to, to conduct the costing will be updated from time to time to reflect changes in regional, state, and national cost data. And finally, capital projects data is a three-year average, and the reason being that in some years, GA airports have very high capital expenditures and in other years, low. And so by having a three-year average, we, we had, wanted to try and get at a better planning tool. A little calculator overview. The primary purpose of the calculator is to run what-if scenarios. What if we started providing commercial service? What if we built new tea hangers? What if we provided an aviation refueling station? The calculator is a tool to help decision makers understand the capital investment and then the likely economic output from that capital investment or from that change in activity or operations at the airport. The calculator can be accessed from the Washington Aviation homepage, and we'll go there in just a minute. And on the landing page, there are a couple of links, one for the Aviation Economic Impact Study Report and the other for the Economic Calculator User's Guide. Okay, so here we are at the WASHDOT homepage, www.wash.wa.gov, and down here under Modes is Aviation. And here we are at the Aviation homepage and scroll down to Plans and Studies. Here is the Aviation Economic Impact Calculator. Okay, here we are at the landing page. This is the link for the report, so this will take you to a web page that you will be able to connect with our communicator, get a copy of that report, and then this is the link for the user's guide. Let's go ahead and click on that and open that. So this is a PDF document that's downloadable, printable, and of course searchable. And we'll leave that open because we'll need to, uh, to access it, that again in the, in the future here in this uh, presentation. Okay, you start by selecting your airport, and since our office is on the Olympia Regional Airport, we'll use Olympia. There you go, that comes up. Okay. okay. So, some calculator basics. The calculator has three tabs, a spending tab, an employment tab, and a results tab. Spending and employment are input tabs, and results is an output tab. All the data, all the tables on the, uh, the results tab are exportable to Microsoft Excel. And three of the four sub-tabs in results, the areas where you can also create pie charts and bar charts, those charts are, are uh, accessible by using a snipping tool or screen print or some other type of method. So the idea here is we want to give you the capability to be able to take whatever you generate in the calculator and then be able to export that into your Word document or your PowerPoint presentation or whatever your needs may be. Okay, so here we are at the, uh, the, the starting page for the Olympia Regional Airport. You can see the spending tab, the employment tab, and the results tab. And one technique that I like to do is before I start doing any initial calculations, I like to go to the results tab and download the baseline information. And so here you see that we've got impact type, jobs, labor income, value added, business revenues, and then direct, indirect, 
induced and total impact. And so I'm just going to use this number right here. You can see that um, as of July of 2020, Olympia Regional Airport had just under 106 million in statewide economic impact. So here's the, the pop down menu for state or regional. So we use the WashDOT regions and Olympia Regional Airport is in the Olympic region. So for the this study, Olympia contributed 87, almost 88 million dollars to the Olympic region economy. Go back to state. So I'm going to download this. Here's the, the link to download that to an Excel file. And you can see down here in the bottom left corner, that's downloading. Okay, now let's open that file. All right, and you, here we can see again, 105, almost 106 million in total economic impact. And I'm also going to jump over to the visitor spending tab. So we've got for various different NAICS categories, NAIC as you see there, uh, agriculture, utilities, construction, manufacturing, 00000731. All right, so let's grab that as well. There it is downloading here in the bottom left. We'll open that file. Okay, and here we have it again. 0000, 000, 000, 000 713.1. Okay. All right, back to the spending tab. Okay, the spending tab has four sections. Airport financial information, commercial passenger service activity, general aviation activity, and visitor spending. So, some of the things that you can do. Here's the airport capital budget, and let's say that we were going to spend uh, additional capital investment this year. So, you can see here that the, grade, the baseline areas are or numbers are grayed out, and I'll input just a made-up number here. That we're going to spend half a million dollars this year on on capital investment. You see that the red save button changed to orange, so I can save that. And now, if we uh, were to go over to uh, the results tab and look under uh, temporary construction jobs, you would see that the some changes. We didn't go and capture that, so um, but we could go there and we could see that uh, the results of that as far as jobs and then of course also the results of that because of construction, you know, there's, uh, there's economic impact into the community from those jobs and from the purchase of, of materials and from the, the B&O tax, that type of thing. All right, we're going to reset this. But you could also make changes in your operational budget and then other on airport expenses. Um, so currently, Olympia Regional Airport does not have commercial service. But let's say that they were to get commercial service. Um, let's put in annual employments of 500,000. And see that just changed from red to orange again. And let's say, what, what is the percentage of visitor spending? We'll say that's 45%. Percent. And um, you know, Washington State airports, uh, you know, the non-hub commercial service airports typically range somewhere between 25 and 45 percent. Since Olympia is a uh, the, you know, state capital, it's likely they have a pretty high percentage of visitors. We'll go with the 45 percent. Um, you just have to use your, your best judgment here. The other thing we need to do in order to make sure that we get some accurate calculations is we need to address the visitor spending. So currently, it's set up with the, in the detail mode so that I could input individual visitor spending uh, amounts in each one of these boxes. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to click on total and I'm going to put in $500 per visitor per trip. Now save that. Okay, and now let's jump over to the results tab and see what has changed. Okay, so you can see down here in the bottom right corner, 
It's now 277, almost 278 million. And just as a refresher, we had crack, captured 105 million before we put in the commercial service. So that's only reflecting the commercial service as far as the economic impact. And then let's go over to visitor spending jobs. Now we have 5, 3, 9, 12, 14, 126. Before we had 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 7, 13, 1. So you can see that the, again, just from inputting the, um, the commercial passenger service, these are the things that have changed. All right, let's go on to the next segment, which is the employment tab. So the employment tab includes uh, a variety of different subcategories, and we'll take a closer look at that. Again, as a reminder, this is an input tab. So this is a brief description of each one of the, uh, the types of job categories, on-site jobs, on-site transportation activities, on-site supporting services, freight activities, passenger terminal activities, other air services, and then miscellaneous activities. Okay, so let's jump over to the spending tab. I'm sorry, the employment tab. So here are all those activities, and we can expand all. So you can you can expand just one, or you can expand all. And you can see that there are a lot of different activities or jobs. Most of them are zeros right now at Olympia. Some changes, but before you go in and make your changes, you really need to know, you know well, what kind of jobs are these exactly. So you go over to the users uh, guide, and in section 3.1.8 starts out with the on site transportation activities. So you can see here airline companies, airport terminal facilities, car rental, charter services, <clears throat> and it explains which what types of jobs are included in this category. And so the, you th now you have a reference for, um, as you're doing your what-if scenarios, which types of jobs do you need to put in which, which place on the, this, the employment tab. And again, this uh, once, once you make some changes, this will turn orange, and you'll have to save it and you have to save it in order for you to get results. Okay, so in the results tab, it's broken out into four sub-tabs. You can see here economic impact su summary, on airport jobs, temporary construction, and visitor spending. So in the results tab, you have a few different output options. You certainly have the table, which we've, we've already seen. You have uh, a pie chart, and you have a bar, bar chart. And so let's go take a look at those real quick. Now, notice that for the economic impact summary data, there's only a table. But when you jump over to on airport jobs, now this appears. I'm going to go back. See, that's not there. And now that appears. And that'll, that applies to all three of these tabs. And in this mode is the data, so it's, it's the table. But we can just as easily click on the pie chart, and it'll give you the breakout. And then also, of course, the bar chart. And as I mentioned before, you know, you can grab these with a snipping tool or screen print or some other kind of software package and use these in your presentations. That's pretty much it. Um, this was a quick overview. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. This is my contact information. And I hope that you find this tool valuable. Thanks for watching.